Yo! What is up, everybody? Happy Friday! Welcome to Fight Night. Welcome, 6A. Good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Always nice to see 6A join us on Fight Night. Pretty, uh, pretty cool that he's been making regular appearances. Yeah, I hope you guys have all been having a good week. Hope you guys are having a great Friday as well, and Saturday. Yeah, so we're uh, just getting started now. Can you uh, wait for some more people to filter in here and see if we can get some battles going. Six A rocking this uh, pretty crazy build here. Uh, we've got Hermes, Aim Assist, Achilles, Initium, Brinical, and Double and Fang with a uh, full 40k VP. Liberator uh, core with Siegfried arms, Liberator head and legs. Oh yeah, that is that is a tank. That is the uh, the highest VP you can have in this game, so <laughs> it's gonna be pretty tough cutting through all that. Cool, good stuff. Yeah, cool. So I think uh, we may have Psycho Mewtwo joining us a little later. Um, I think if a lot of the regulars are uh, unavailable today, so it may end up being a smaller and or shorter fight night. Um, that's okay. The last couple have been uh, 
super crazy jam packed, so <laughs> people might be taking a break. And I think a lot of people are also playing Monster Hunter. Because when I open my friends list, that is what like 90% of people are playing, so that's cool though. No problems there. Hey, what's up, Matt Wheaton? How you doing, homie? Welcome to the stream. And yeah, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. It's uh, it's got a life of its own. Armor Core is, of course, you know, one of the greatest of all time. It's uh, it's an amazing game. And this is uh, yeah, it's not a replacement, but it is a nice mech game <laughs> on its own volition so it's, uh, it's cool that it's sticking around sequels on its way looking forward to the news about that Yeah, welcome again, Matt. Good, uh, good to have you. Hopefully, we can get things kicked off pretty shortly, and uh, we'll have some cool robot action on the screen. Yeah, it's a pretty fair comparison. It's got the, uh, you know, the bright, colorful presentation of Zone of the Enders, and uh, you know, robots that are kind of crazy powerful in flight mode with uh, the magic that is Femto, of course. So a little more supernatural, I guess, than something like Armored Core. But yeah, I love this game. I do love it.
Oh, well, you're totally welcome to join, regardless of the attachments and stuff. It's uh, it's no big deal. It's super casual. You know, if you do want to get in, you are totally, totally welcome to do so. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. I've actually never seen Votoms. And I've actually never seen Macross. And I've actually only seen a little bit of Gundam. Sorry. <laughs> but I like the way they all look. And my brother was a big Macross guy. Yo, Ray Shadow, what is up? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, Ray Shadow. Ooh, nice. We've got uh, some guy, aka Psycho Mewtwo, is rocking these shotguns today. Always love to see that. <laughs> Shotguns with the Zeru arms and the kind of squat liberator head looks really funny. It looks cool though. Look at your big cannons. Yeah, I appreciate Mecha. Admittedly, most of my experience with mechs is through video games. I've only watched a few Mecha anime, some of the big ones, and uh, Nadesco is my favorite anime of all time, so that one counts. But uh, yeah, as far as the deep, deep Mecha, just uh, haven't seen much of it myself. No, we've got room, Ray Shadow. Anyone who wants to hop in is totally welcome. Right, Geki Ganger 3, baby. Yep, that's right. It's a little, you know, it's got its, it's, it's, uh, has its own silliness, but I don't care. I love that show. It's the best. Best anime series for me, anyway. Uh, yeah, the movie, the movie was kind of cool. I mean, I liked it as like a separate thing. You know, as like, it's not exactly in the continuity of the universe. Not an alternate timeline, kind of like that. I don't know. It was entertaining. I like when they go through in the beginning and like recruit all the people back to the ship. That part's pretty funny. Some guy got a communication error, but he came back. Yo, what is up, Azure, aka Ray Shadow? Welcome, welcome. Nice, we got a full lobby. Not an all timeline? Yeah, well, for. I'm just gonna pretend it is. <laughs> I don't dislike it. It's just uh, it's so it's such a strange direction. But you know what? That show's really strange anyway. So. Let's see what we got over here. Okay. Ray Shadow rocking uh, his traditional Zephyr. Pretty sweet. Oh no! What happened? Oh, 
Oh no, we swapped it up a little bit. Nice. Right zero. Damn. Very cool. Very cool. With the uh, Falchion core. I'm sorry, Flamberge. <laughs> Flamberge core. I hope Cycle B2's connection is okay. Maybe we can get started before, uh, before some guy has a chance to disconnect again. <laughs> or get disconnected, rather. I think uh, some guy's internet is bugging out a little bit. It's cool. All right, we did get it. We got it started. Welcome once again, everyone, to Fight Night. Yes, that that is a disconnect. <laughs> if I had a guess. Okay. Sorry, Psycho V2. Sucks. Just check this out for now. All right, we're looking over the shoulder of 6A here. He's swinging away with that hammer. Oh, Chafe Flare's probably coming in pretty clutch here, because uh, if he can manage to avoid the hammer, Ray Shadow might be able to, uh, be able to do some work here. Although, as we mentioned before, it is quite a bit of beef to cut through. As uh, 6A's arsenal is the highest possible VP you can have in the game. Oh man, 6A is so like immobile. <laughs> the hammer is, uh, seems to be his main means of conveyance right now. Hey, Ray Shadow's putting in a good fight here. 
Yeah. Real careful about that hammer. Ooh. Scary. I'm not sure, uh, too much about distribution, but uh, sounds like a good thing. Sounds like both of you guys are pretty happy about that, so good. Good stuff. Damn, we're coming down to the wire here. Wow, 6A is in the red. Damn, Bray must have done, uh, he's been managed to, managed to do quite a bit of damage. Wow, nice. <laughs> there it goes. Ooh, GG. Nice stuff. It seemed like it was pretty close. Ooh, damn! It sure was. Damn, what a sick match. GG. Nice job. Both 6A and Azure. Very cool. That was an awesome fight. Ray Shadow and 6A. Unfortunately, uh, I'm speaking with Psycho Mewtwo in Discord, and it sounds like he his internet is just on the fritz, and uh, he's not going to be able to join us tonight. So, sorry about that, Psycho Mewtwo. But thank you very much for trying. <laughs> I do appreciate the uh, being in the lobby here. Hopefully next time. But that also means we do need a fourth player. So we are, uh, yeah, we'll wait for a little bit and see if we can't pick ourselves up a fourth. Oh no, it's Dandy. Dandy Salad, welcome, welcome, welcome. Awesome. That's cool, that was really unexpected. I saw Dandy sign on and go straight to Monster Hunter. So I was not expecting this at all. Welcome, welcome Dandy Salad. It's a pleasure, homie, great to see you. Great to see you. We have here. Ooh. I assume this is a cosplay build. It looks pretty cool. An Anfang, Arondite, Railgun, Astraeus. Yo, Dandy and Chat, what is up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if you Gundam experts might recognize this. Can't read Japanese, but pretty cool. 
Pretty cool. Nice work with the decal on the, uh, the arms as well. Andy rocking the Grim One. Grim One CS. Double light color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Big fan. Big fan. And the Falchion Core. Oh, Albion. Oh, it is. It is full Albion. That didn't occur to me. Yeah, you're right. It is full. The name is Albion, and it is full Albion gear. Change the legs? Kusanagi. Cool. Hey, what's up, Akitsu? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you, homie. Dandy out here. Great to see a kid suit as well. Holy shadow. For anyone wondering, this is, uh, of course, the Armored Core 2 soundtrack. Couldn't think of anything particular today. Whenever that happens, I always, pretty much always just go straight to Armored Core. Because you can't go wrong.
Ooh, that was pretty close, actually. <laughs> Candy almost got me there. shooting that much. <laughs> I have way more ammo than usual. It's been a little while. Oh no! Azure! I think that's actually 6A with the uh, with the visor tattoo. <laughs> GG. Good game. Oh, that's all good, Psycho Me too. No worries at all. Again, I do appreciate you being here. What is up, Abnormality? My dude, how's it going, brother? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, nice. All right, cool. Did manage to get a team swap in there. Now, welcome, Ab, and welcome to the chat, Psycho Mewtwo. By the way, I do. I set up my emotes. I've got free emotes that uh, you can spam. Please spam those free emotes. emotes and free emotes and they're exactly the same <laughs> so everyone uh, feel free to use them uh... oh, no. <laughs> there's a better word that I was trying to think of but it didn't come to me so feel free to use them a lot
Oh no, I get stuck for a second there. This time I'm firing all the bullets. As I learned from last time. It is really fun to just like hold down the trigger. <laughs> it's usually not super efficient, but it is very fun. Ooh, the explosive barrel. I see that too often. Notice that uh, Ray Shadow switched to Hermes. It seems. I didn't get to take a good look at the build, though. But I'm pretty curious. <laughs> I was pretty, I went right at, in the middle and they both just went the opposite direction. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, we stand now. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> GG. Good game, good game. GG. Yeah, I was pretty lucky. I think uh, AA grabbed a VP tank and pushed it at another VP tank, and I was able to dip my toes in there and get a lot of VP back. So, lucky me. A good game. Nice stuff. Oh yeah, this was, uh, I believe it was Ray Shadow's tournament build from quite a while ago. Ray did uh, quite well in the tournament with this build. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, and I saw uh, 6A rocking this in the uh, rankings here and there. Very nice. Very good looking robot paint and the uh, part selection is awesome. Whoa! Got this golden boy right here. Hornet. Double Stargazer F. Ooh, spec for fire rate too, so these things are going to be blasting away. Very nice. Ooh, when Ray went back to the classic. Very good.
Oh, nice. You'll get there eventually. The silver one's really cool. The silver one looks awesome. Put two maps in a row with centrally located femto zones. Those uh, watch those triggers. I have a bad habit of uh, over boosting too much. When I'm holding down the trigger, I hold down the boost button at the same time, and then I stamina out myself. So I get a. Wow, I got a really good beat on it. Got the uh, double, double Baldur's one. So, <laughs> get hit by that bad boy. It's gonna hurt quite a lot. Oh no, that's good. So I didn't do the input right. I'm dead. Yep. 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 I knew that was gonna happen. And I was panicking and cycling through my shifts to try to get the shield shift and I think I was actually in wing shift when the blades hit so it was about as awful as it could be. Oh no Azure. That's all good. That is a lot of damage.
<laughs> GG. Good game. Yo, what's up, Mistletane? What's up, new Osaka? Welcome, welcome. What is up, guys? GG. Yeah, welcome Mistletane and welcome you. Hope you guys are having an excellent week and a good Friday and Saturday. Nice. Okay. I saw Dandy swap back to uh, Grim 1. Very cool. This I didn't see much of, but it looked like it was a Strayus 1. So that's pretty cool. There is Strayus 1 in front and Strayus 2 in the back. Yeah, feel free. I don't think there's anyone currently waiting uh, to join. But if there is anyone out there who does want to get in, definitely let me know. We can, uh, we can make arrangements. But at this time, I don't believe there is anyone in the queue. Map can get a tiny bit laggy in 2v2. It's not in 1v1. It's fine. 2v2 it gets a tiny bit, but not to like a not to like a terrible degree. And actually, right now it's feeling quite smooth. So.
Wow. <laughs> Saw those uh, big purple swords coming at me. Oh no, it's really bad. Okay. Could have been worse, but that was still not great. Oh, I didn't even notice the A, A was down. I'm sorry, 6A? Oh, did maybe it was a red wall? Oh. No, don't. No worries. It's all good. All good. GG. GG. Yeah, sorry, Six. I didn't even notice. <laughs> we got uh, Quad Astraeus. Yeah, very handsome. Very handsome robot. Love the uh, the dark blue and light blue. That was my uh, story mode robot. Had a similar color scheme. Map. Oh, no worries, Dandy. Sounds good. Dandy, do you have a map in particular that you want to use? Oh, he's readied up, so I assume that we're good to go. 
You got Dandy, if you do have a map request, let me know. Ooh, we've got the, uh... Oh yeah, nice, this is the Atlas, the infinite uh, stamina build. Infinite Hermes. And, uh, dual Anfang, dual ugly. <laughs> I think this is, uh, I believe this is 6A's primary build, if I'm not mistaken. Anything? Okay, cool. Let's do Moonfall. Moonfall's a good, a good last map. Robots here. Kind of got all the robots. Nice. Scary prospect. <laughs> that uh, infinite stamina Hermes. Pretty cool though. I mean, I'm glad that there's alternative strategies that are viable. It is pretty unique. You do see a, a, the Hermes stamina combo or the Hermes uh, Atlas combo every once in a while, but. So pretty hard to put into practice. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That hurt. Oh no, Dandy. I assume he went in to punish and got, uh, unfortunately got blasted by Anfang. And now there's traps on his body, so if I do this. I'm trying to get the Mirage to trigger the traps and he never does it. You think you could just drop him off right on top? He would like, do it. Ouch. Got shot by the ugly envy. Ouch, ouch.
Ouch. I think that was another envy shot, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been Anfang, but I think Anfang would have done more damage. <laughs> this guy was pretty cool. I was trying to go down to save you, Dandy, but he trapped up your body. So if I had uh, if I had tried, that just would have been instant death. <laughs> the GG, good game. Ooh, nice, Ray. Hold, uh, hold down your your capture button. Because then, if it's still within the last 30 seconds, you can go back and save a screenshot from the video. GG. It's a good photo. Oh no, it's too late. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm going to take my own advice. Hopefully there's a moment in there that's got all four people in it. Uh, understood, 6A. Sounds good. But thank you very much, Dandy, for coming. Always awesome to see you, man. Super cool to have you back at fight night. GG's Dandy. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so it sounds like 6A has one more in him. And we have an open spot, so if anybody does uh, does want to hop in, you are totally welcome. <laughs> it's all A's. Oh. Full Albion, Anfang Arger, Alberio, Agni Flame, Astraeus 2. And it even has Aim Assist. <laughs> Damn, I get it now. Okay, that's sick. That's why you've got the A's on the... Uh... See, I wasn't sure if on the shoulders, I wasn't sure if that was intended to be an A or if that was intended to be like a, an actual decal. But I see now, it's quite intentionally an A. So this is the ultimate A. <laughs> ultimate arsenal. A is for arsenal. <laughs> Pretty cool. Arondite, Anfang, Albion, Alberio, Astraeus, Agniflame, Aim Assist. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Nice Ray Shadow. That is a maze. Ooh, nice. Looks like we have a modified Zephyr here with a Grim Stargazer and Double and Fang. And a Dark Mantis. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well I just put the call out in Discord that we have an open spot. So, uh, if there's anybody out there who does want to hop in, they are absolutely free to do. Oh, that's all good, new. No worries. I know it's I know it's difficult for you to play at work, regardless. So I do appreciate it when you can, but I also don't want you getting in trouble or anything. <laughs> so don't worry about it at all. Somebody joined. Somebody with a lot of uh, very high rank score joined. But I think there's an error loading in, maybe? Or it's just taking a really long time? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Just taking a really long time. Cool. I have to admit, I'm not familiar with this player. That's a pretty cool looking build. Very uh, simple, down to earth melee build. Cool. Well, welcome, kind stranger. <laughs> Don't know who you are, but I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Heta Raven. Hmm. Okay. I'm not familiar with this player. Ooh, we swapped it up a little. Heta. <laughs> I assume because we're all so far away, that is why we're going to get some long load times, but that's okay. Usually not too bad once the game starts. Oh, you moved from co-op missions. Oh, okay, cool. I wonder if he just happened to like be searching uh, randomly through lobbies. Because I'll do that sometimes, but there's like 0.01% chance he'll ever find something. But that's cool. I'm, I'm happy. doing damage. It's not me. <laughs> AAAA must have landed some killer shots on both of these guys. So I AA switched to an uh, interesting build. It had double end thing and it also had Stargazer, I think I saw a Grim Reaper 3? Not sure, but it looked pretty well rounded. And it wasn't all Albion. <laughs> Alright, must have landed some pretty crazy shots. 
because both Azure and uh, Heta are, are kind of in a rough spot. There. Ooh. As you was down, ooh. Ita is down. Damn, GG. Six A definitely carrying my ass that time. Good game. Oh, he even does have a uh the A decals on the shoulder. Although these, this one's tucked in a little bit more, but looks great. GG. Yeah, Ray, I think that might have been uh, Six A's and Fang. Both you and uh, your teammate suddenly <laughs> suddenly had zero health when I looked up. You get a photo. Sort of a photo. Kind of. But GG's AA, thank you so much for being here. Good games, good games. Yeah, 6A, very cool to see you. Thanks very much for joining us on this, uh, this nice fight night here. And I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, shout outs to 6A, Dandy Salad, and Psycho Mewtwo. Everyone who fought with us a little bit today. grabbed a brinicle this time. This one's a pretty cool color scheme too. I like the, uh, when you use decals with the metallic paint, they can produce some really cool effects. Like when you use white decal on the, any of the metallic paint, you get like these cool silver shapes. And it looks like, uh, ooh, well, <laughs> we lost it, but that, uh, the paint job there using the copper skin with the uh, green decals. That was a very cool look. I like that. Ooh, what have we here? We got double low and Krieger, double liberatio. Nice. Damn, I think uh, Zekrad would appreciate this one. Very cool. Cool color scheme here too. I like what we got with the uh, Two separate decals on the arms. Very nice. Very nice. And we've got the double grim version over here. Very cool, very cool. Double grim. I wonder if I could do silver. I wonder how it would look.
Eh, it's okay. Not crazy about the, uh, the way the FD arms look with the, uh, the silver skin. For some reason, the black on the, like, inlay there looks so much glossier than the rest of the robot. I don't know why that is. Oh uh, yeah, good point. The yellow decals become gold and the white becomes silver. Oh yeah, the pearl is nice. I really like the uh I really like the the one that kind of looks like a Japanese tattoo. <laughs> that one looks really cool. Oh no, I'm missing all this stuff. Wait, I can't read what, uh... Wait, I can't read what he's saying. He says, I've got a good mech. Oh, that's awesome, Ray. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you for the translation and thank you for the compliment. Wow. I'm so glad you're here, Ray. <laughs> that is so cool. Your Japanese is uh, amazing. Still, I still got to get a couple more attachments, but... Joint torque control in here. Oh, well, sure. Why. Not sure where I put the other ones, but it's okay. Two is plenty. Hey, I say it's great, <laughs> and that's cool, man. It's really cool that you're uh, like really learning. That's amazing. I'm super impressed.
<laughs> oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, nice. We've got the full longsword Mume squad. I can dig it. Full longsword Mume. Oh, what's up, Muteki? Hello, hello. Akitsu. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did we do this one already? I don't think we did. Let's do this one. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Ooh. Oh, speaking of, we were just talking about how cool the uh, decals look on the metallic. Damn. That is a sweet looking arsenal. I think I saw this when I was going through the rankings, checking out Miteki's stuff. Or checking out everyone's stuff, but I of course happened to come across Miteki. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's cool. Looks great. The purple decals with the flame gives it that real, like, kind of oil slick, lighter fluid look. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. Very nice. Yeah, welcome Akitsu. Great to have you. Nice, we got all the all the old heads today. just walking in such a way that uh, I thought my sword like vanished for a second. I think I'm tripping. It's been a long week. <laughs> I'm glad it's pretty much over. Muteki, uh, aka Kitsu, is by far the most proficient flamethrower user I've ever seen. He uh, pretty much made them viable, <laughs> as far as I can tell, which is really awesome. So I'm glad he, uh, glad he's busting that back out today. Ooh. A good feeling when you you hit your missile launch button and then all of a sudden you find yourself flying like directly into a building and all the missiles just break on the side happens sometimes down.
Oh no! GG. Good game, good game. Oh, it's a red wall. Ah, oh, that's no fun. Sorry, that's a, that match kind of small too. Tempest, huh? Plays Icarus. Don't think I've ever met them before. That's cool though. I'm a big fan of uh, Icarus, so I can say for certain that he's got great taste. Ooh, nice. Mutaki is busting out the uh, purple and gold. Very cool, very cool. Ooh, all dash accelerator. Was it like that before? Don't remember. That's pretty cool, though. Ooh, and uh, looks like Heta has returned to the main squeeze. Very cool, very cool. Cool. Nice, we've got a we've got a multilingual lobby. Although I think I'm the only one in here who uh, doesn't speak Japanese. <laughs> but that's cool because these guys both do, so uh, they can be my ears. Yeah, that's awesome. It's really awesome that we could just get random passers-by sometimes. Especially internationally. It's so nice. <laughs> nice thing. Ooh, almost.
Critical explosions do look super cool. But for some reason, when Briticals or Rampage Hammers explode, they just have an awesome, huge-ass explosion. Whereas most of the uh, regular missiles just have these tiny little, <laughs> little blue spheres of energy. Those look cool too, but Briticals look badass. Kind of remind me of the uh, grenade launcher from Armor Core 1. Just this big ball, sphere of flame. Shadows down. Where did he go downstairs? Ooh, pretty crafty. Pretty crafty. We, uh, he led us away. He led us away from Azure and then uh, swooped in for the res. Very crafty, sir. G. Good game, good game. That was super clever from Muteki to like draw us into the uh, into the underground and then sneak back upstairs, pick Ray Shadow back up. That was cool. Oh, huh. Slowly walking on air while boosting. Sounds like the moonwalk bug. Yeah, we call we see that a lot when we do uh, tournaments or where there's a lot of spectation, and uh, we call it moonwalking. <laughs> yeah, GG. That was a good one.
Ooh, nice. Muteki busting out the uh, the UE. Very cool. I like the uh, alternating. Oh, we've got one ugly NVM and one one regular. Or one F, rather. And the Siegfried legs. I'm always happy to see Siegfried legs. They just look so unique. And the paint job really matches the, uh, the ugly envies well. Even customized on the arms. This one's got a little gray and this one's got a little purple. Or blue, something like that. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my goodness, what have we here? Big boy. We got double Gillinger, Pandora's box, double Anfang. Liberator core. <laughs> That is a beefy fellow. I like it. And nice decals on the uh, the knee pads too. Ooh, switch it up again. Double Silver Raven too. That's up my alley. And then we've got a red blue sword combination. Cool. Not bad. With the Kusanagi arms for maximum fire rate. Yes, yes. Very cool. Kind of has like an insectile look to it. It's kind of like a like a ladybug. <laughs> Neat. I can kind of test to see if Icarus does anything against uh, Ugly Envy. It's 2v2, so it's not quite a super official test or anything, but it'd be nice to see. can uh, legit fire missiles at two different targets. It'll come up often in only one PvP of course, but it's kind of cool. Ouch. sometimes but it's uh, really hard to get the distance right especially when you can't see them every once in a while you can do a little radar action
Oh no, I just noticed Azure's in the red. I get there, pal. Oh no, Azure! I missed! Oh no, I missed! Wow, that melted my life. GG. Good game. Good game. Very nice, very nice. GG. Oh, you're out, Muteki? Oh, we're both out. Cool, cool, cool. I like that we were in perfect sync. <laughs> totally unintentionally. That's awesome. GG's, Muteki. Thank you so much for being here. Great to see you, as always. We get a little photo, kind of. Kind of a photo. Good. There we go. <laughs> Counts. How do I do the the hands out to the sides? What's that one? Consider shrug beckon. I don't remember. <laughs> oh well. Either way. GG's everybody. Thank you guys very much. Hold up. Go hold up. <laughs> cool. We're a little off center, but that's okay. Here. Pretty cool. <laughs>
All right. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kaz wants to hop in. That's totally cool. Oh, thank you, Muteki. You definitely don't don't feel obligated to stay uh, if you have to go. I know it's uh, it's probably around lunchtime, a little after lunchtime. I guess it depends when you eat lunch. <laughs> but yeah, so if you do want to stick around, awesome, thank you. But absolutely no obligation. And Heta Raven, thank you very much for joining us. That was awesome. I'm so glad to have run into you. In fact, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab that friends list. I'm actually going to get up for a quick sec, uh, grab my water, run to the restroom real quick, and I'll be back in just a moment. So, uh, BRB, one sec. Hey, I'm back. Yo, welcome Evan Wind. I presume that is Kaz. Welcome, welcome. Welcome Kaz. I don't know if Kaz has been to a fight night. Or if he has, maybe it was like a really long time ago. But that's cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what we got going on here. Black Moon. Nice. Black Moon, Lone Krieger, Ogre Break, Astraeus, Palatus. Wow, quite an eclectic, uh, quite a diverse weapon setup. Pretty cool. Zerocrod Core. Nice. 
Oh, Mutaki with the classic X-ray build that I'm very fond of. Very cool. But you may have, he's in the Discord uh, new. You may have spoken with him there. second I got paranoid about my audio settings so I just had to check them real fast but it seems like they're okay When you can get the actual big missile volleys, like when you can get a five or six lock. But with Icarus, the lock on is so slow that it's really hard to do that. <coughs> it's hard to keep someone in the reticle for all five locks. Oh no, Kaz is down! Damn. Sorry, Kaz. <laughs> that was a rough start. Oh no, I was down. You now realize his health is so low. <laughs> like how we're all kind of like just hovering right above the ground here. Cool. Especially on this level, it definitely gives it more of an armored core feel. Oh no, right over his head. Oh no.
<laughs> oh my god, chaos. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of mirages floating around right now. Gee, nice. That was a cool match. There's a lot of back and forth there. I uh, wasn't sure how that would end up. <laughs> but very nice. GG. Good game. Pretty close. Pretty close, all things considered. Ooh, 87, 89. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll try... We'll go back. We'll start over. <laughs> we'll start the cycle anew. Yeah, 87, 89. That's great. Very nice. Yeah, welcome again, Kaz. I Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure you have been to Fight Night, but it's been a really, really long time. So, great to have you back. Welcome, welcome. We've got a Grim 3M and a Bazooka arm. Nice. Rampage Hammer. Sweet. Teki going back to the uh, purple and gold. Oh, different, uh, different kit this time. Mume head, Atlas arm, Flash Phantom, Flash Phantom Flambridge. Oh, interesting. Oh, hey, what's up, Yugi? Welcome, welcome. What is up, brother?
Damn, GG. I was not sure how that was going to go at the end there. <laughs> Very nice, GG. Another pretty close game. Apologies, I was uh, muted that whole time. Good game, good game. And Mateki's arsenal is uh, quite, quite light, <laughs> quite fragile, but uh, looks very cool. Ooh, interesting. Flash Phantom Legs, I love. One of my favorite items in the whole game. Pretty cool. I don't think I've seen this one before. At first I thought it was uh, the League build, because I think the League build used this weapon loadout, but the rest of it, not familiar. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. Another uh, slightly fragile robot, I would argue, but uh, you've got those sweet ass flash phantom legs, so you do have a chunk of VP there. Melancholy. Pretty cool. We get to line up. There's no way. Melancholy Rob. <laughs> cool. Whoa. Well, it was. It was the Lancelot skin. Nice. Caught it just at the end there.
I mean, if I turn in the other direction, it doesn't do the same 180, but if I had been facing, any, uh, facing the other way, Win. Oh, I knocked him down. Okay, great. Sorry, man. <laughs> Good game. That was pretty exciting. GG.
<laughs> Don't lick the screen, you. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess you can if you want. Pretty harmless. GG's Muteki, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, for dealing with your hunger <laughs> long enough for us to get a couple more games. GG's Muteki, thank you very much. Pleasure to see you as always. Evan Wind has got the uh, the copper on his helmet, kind of differentiated from the rest of them. It's pretty cool. Ooh, big chop. <laughs> Got one open spot. I think, uh, yeah, we'll try to fill this and get a couple more games in. I think we're probably kind of winding down. I have to admit, I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get a couple final games, uh, but if not, we may end up just calling it there. But it's been awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, so far for coming and uh, joining us and fighting with us. It has been quite a pleasure. Cool seeing that Lancelot skin. I haven't uh, haven't seen that in a really long time. Quite a rare treat. Uh, 
I love this song. This is uh, King Lear is the name of this track. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And it's unique in that uh, its colors are fixed. Like, I don't think you can change the colors. I think you can add decals? Maybe? But yeah, interesting that way. Oh yeah, can't even add decals, huh? Damn. Yeah, I would have uh, assumed as much as well. I'm assuming that's a licensing thing. Because the owner of the IP doesn't want their brand to depict anything that could potentially be, you know, taken the wrong way. <laughs> I assume that was like part of the deal. But still pretty cool. Definitely kind of fits with like the Arsenal aesthetic. Yeah, so it's uh it's about 9.30 right now. We'll probably try to recruit until about 9.45 and uh if we don't end up finding another player, we'll probably just call it there. But uh, still, it's been an awesome fight night. I was worried because I definitely thought the DXM audience had been mostly cannibalized by Monster Hunter, <laughs> which is cool. I mean, that that's that makes sense. But uh, yeah, no, we managed to get over two hours of solid fighting. It was nice. Yeah, the, the, the mech design in Code Geass is pretty cool. I like most of the way the mechs look. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Escaflone style of, like, magic knight mechs. And this wasn't quite that, but it was, like, it had elements of that, so I, I dug that. That was cool. Yeah, the, uh, the Sherazad from Escaflone. It's up there. It's in my, like, top three favorite mechs. And the Escaflone itself is really cool, too. But Sherazad is just so sick. <laughs> Panzer World Galliot. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It's kind of like a cross between Magic Knight mech and like the uh... 
there's a name for it, but you know, like the Gaio Gygar gigantic super mechs. There's a name for that. I can't remember what it is. But it's a cool, this is a cool mix of the two. I like it. Yeah, dig it. Nice. Super Robot? Yeah, that's what it is. Super Robot. Super Robot. Trails of Cold Steel, Divine Knight. Oh, damn. Yeah, it looks pretty freaking cool. Yeah, very stylish. I like the uh, the wings. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, super robots and real robots. I read I read this somewhere, like I read a whole analysis, because it because my actual mecha knowledge is pretty lacking. There's a few things that I know relatively well, and then a whole wide world that is uh, quite a mystery to me. Yeah, arsenals definitely seem to be on the real robot scale. Although femto is kind of like magic. But yeah, they aren't like many stories tall. All right, sounds like uh, sounds like Kaz, aka Evan Wind, is gonna head out for the evening. So I think that's probably where we'll call it for the night. Oh, I like that. The spin, the spin into the exit. That is pretty cool. Very stylish, very stylish. Cool. Well, that was awesome. That's more than like it, yes. <laughs> I love it when she says that. All right, everybody. I think that is gonna do it for fight night tonight. 
but it has been an awesome time. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. It uh, it has been a blast, and wow, what a what a what a diverse roster we had today as far as uh, players who joined in for the fights. It was really fantastic. So thank you all very much. Thank you to Psycho Mewtwo, Dandy Salad, uh, Heta Raven, Ray Shadow. Thank you, Muteki. Thank you to Evan Wind, aka uh, Kaz, my bet. <laughs> my, my mind is going blank. And thank you very much to 6A as well. Damn. Quite the crew today. Really fantastic. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, yeah. Another awesome fight night in the books. Uh, once again, appreciate everyone hanging out in the chat, keeping it nice and lively cheering people on <laughs> some great uh mecha knowledge being exchanged here i'm soaking it all in i like the uh the mecha philosophy <laughs> it's pretty cool oh yeah i think i got him Heta, was it heta or meta I thought it was Heta Raven. I may be mistaken there. But yeah, it was great to have him. It was great to have everybody. Good to see New and Mistletane and Yugi. Everyone in the chat. Chilling with us. It's been a great time, great time. Thank you all very much. Looking forward to the next one. I should be back here next week, same time, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern on Friday night, and then 11 a.m. Japan time on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. And uh, feel free to stop on in next week as well. So thanks again, everyone. It has been my pleasure. It's so awesome to see the community coming out and getting some sweet fights in. So until next week, peace, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Have a great Friday and Saturday. And happy 4th of July to all of the Americans out there. Alright, enjoy everybody. Peace.